I think Prince Andrew doesn't get it. He was seen yesterday leading the royal family to the memorial service for King Constantine and beaming away, looking happy to be back uh, in the public light at the front of the family. And he may have done nothing wrong. He may have done something wrong. He's not alone in this ignorance because the king, Her Majesty the late Queen, uh, understands that their role is in part to be an icon, but in part to be a mirror of the best of us. And we aspire to be like the king, to be like the queen. And when it works well, the queen, the king, is like us. We are, the, the, the monarch becomes interchangeable with the people and the royal family bask in that acceptance, that understanding. The same is true, incidentally, about the people who come into our homes on national television or private television or whatever. The people who come into our homes who represent the news. Uh, and, and also, to an extent, actors who we take to our hearts. And this is why the crisis surrounding, oh, all the way, all, all that time ago, the crisis surrounding Hugh Grant in the car, if you remember, maybe you don't want to remember, I don't want to remember, the crisis surrounding Hugh Edwards is a difference. Uh, the one was rehabilitated, the other was not, and I don't think he's likely to be. Why? Because it's about trust, and it's about gaining public trust. It's not about a criminal activity or about uh, even, even dodgy activity. It's about trust. And while the public are trusting you, it's okay. When you lose that trust, it's not okay. And it's not that these people are doing a job and that uh, we are depriving them of a job unfairly, that job is there because they command the affection of the public. That job is there because they are trusted. When that trust goes, I'm afraid that job goes, unless they can find some way to regain that trust. And simply going to uh, a trial, being proven not guilty, is not enough or not going to a trial, uh, it, it not being taken any further, uh, in, in, in the case of Hugh Edwards. We're not saying that he's guilty of a crime. We're saying he's no longer trustable, trustworthy, trustful. He's no longer full of trust. We can no longer trust him. And, and it's not quite... <laughs> It's not, it, it, even that word doesn't quite do the job. I think the word is affection. We are no longer affectionate. It's like those relationships uh, where the person simply says, I no longer love you. Devastating. Devastating. How do you return that? Utterly Devastating. But that is the fundamental problem. And Andrew is in the middle of that, and he doesn't seem to get it. There's a space for Andrew. There's room for Andrew. And, uh, but it's not in the public eye. He can support his brother hugely. I mean, there's so much he can do behind the scenes. He can support his ex-wife, who oddly still commands affection. And as for the two princes, Prince Harry and Prince William, no matter what the red tops say, Prince Harry commands affection. And there's, uh, so, so this morning there's news of um, a, a, another death in the royal family, and there's immediate affection for the royal family and for the 
for, for, the, for the personal grief and the personal struggle that goes on because that personal struggle is ours. They represent the best of us. And Prince Andrew needs to recognize that he needs to take a step back because he's getting in the way of that affection. And I'm very sorry. <laughs>